Austin. This is Siren from Denver, Colorado, and you are listening to the best. Hey, Foodie Freaks, welcome to the Culinary Trends Show. I'm your host, Chef Bev Lazo, ready to serve up some good food with good friends for some good times. It's my instruments. Coming up, Culinary Trends with Chef Bev Lazo. What up, my foodie freaks? Are you ready for some good food with good friends for good times? Well, then let's get this party started with me, Chef Bev, and my crazy brigade right here, right now on the Culinary Trend Show on GrantRadioNetwork.com. All right, all right, welcome. Thank you, thank you, people in the basement. All right. Huh? Okay. What? What? I don't know. Uh, I don't think my mic is on. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, then never mind. Uh, forget it. You can't hear yourself? Can you hear yourself? I can't hear myself. In okay. Well, uh, The other voices in my head are <laughs> being very loud. Uh, well, welcome, everybody. This is the Culinary Trend Show. I'm your host, Bev Lazo. Next to me is Lawrence. Can you hear me now, Lawrence? What? See, he can't hear me. He never listens to me, just to let you know. He's, he's deaf. Oh, <laughs> he's I deaf. Mean, you, is this, you, you brought your boys here I brought to, my to boys. call me out? Is that what's going on? Okay. I brought I my bodyguards tonight. All right, all right. Unfortunately, uh, I'll, I'll try to be on my best behavior. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, our partner here on the right. Stuck in traffic. Stuck in traffic. Or she's still at the Chromeo show. Waiting backstage. Possibly going. Uh, she's probably waiting in line for the next Chromeo show. <laughs> probably. So we didn't hear anything back from her after that night. That that is true. So Aww. she should be here. We're hoping. Sad. We're hoping. It's sad. <laughs> and we have two special guests tonight, Lawrence. And who are these special guests? Yeah, you tell me who you are. To my left, I'm facing you. Tell us who you are. I'm Joseph. Gonzalez. Joseph G. Welcome to the show. You were here before, yes. right? And what show did we do before with you? The Baby Food Challenge. The Baby Food Challenge. You remember that, Lawrence? I've blocked it from my memory. <laughs> you don't remember any of that delicious baby food? <laughs> Shoving that in your mouth? I'm mm. good. No, no, okay. <laughs> and then we have our little brother here. What's your name? Bruno Mars. What? <laughs> Bruno Mars is in the house. Special <laughs> celebrity <laughs> guest in the house. <laughs> What a goofball. We have Jacob G in the house. Welcome, guys. Thank you for hanging out with mom tonight. Yep. So, hey, we got any fans out here for these two looking, good looking guys, right? 855 693 4897. And I think I have my delivery here because we are doing a show tonight on what? Pizza. Pizza. And that is why your boys are here. That's right, because they are the, uh, you know, critics that would tell us, hey, you know, we need, we need, uh, what do you have money in your hands? Because I have Just to pay. Hey, pizza. everybody give a great big hand to, uh, Pizza Hut here. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Pizza Hut guy. Hi, what's Hi, your, everybody. good, what's your name? What's your name? Fernando. Fernando. Okay, Fernando, how much do we owe you? So we got Pizza Hut tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how much? All right, here. Keep the chair. You're paying on okay. the chair. That's what, just like that. what, what did you bring you us? Leave it there on the what table. I, what? what did you bring us? What's in there? It's. Uh, Come out of here to the mic. <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> so we have a pizza delivery night here at yeah, Rant Radio. Have, uh, <coughs> oh, cheese! I'm so cheesy. It's pan pepperoni. Okay. And uh, cinnamon. Cinnamon sticks. Yes. And uh, cinnamon, I mean, uh, bristics. All right. Uh, and, uh, marinas. I think he's got the show now. <laughs> Thank you for coming. What was your name again? I'm sorry. Fernando. Fernando. Let's give it up for Fernando. Fernando. Thank you, Fernando. Uh, yeah, yeah, you are. Sure. Now. Yeah, we are at RadioNetwork.com, Fernando. Ah. So you're feeding us dinner tonight. So we give it up for the man, Fernando. Thank, Thank you, Fernando. You. Have a nice yeah. evening. Have Thank you for day. coming. Bye. Enjoy All our right. job. Enjoy our job. Thank you, <laughs> Fernando. Hey, isn't that cool? They can just come deliver anytime. Whoa. So we should, tell we us. We should have this more happen. More we often. should. We should. Who, if you deliver be anything else besides pizza, we welcome you. What else do you think we should have delivered? Because other cities don't deliver. It's you know much. What? Stuff like this. LA is not very big on food delivery other than stuff like pizza. Right. Uh, and and if you live downtown, mm -hmm. it, it can be an issue. Uh, I've seen more often now or in the years now that 
downtown LA is becoming more gentrified. Right. Uh, and it's kind of hard are, to deliver there, though. Um, as the neighborhoods are getting better, a little bit safer, mm -hmm. um, some of the businesses out there, the restaurants there are expanding <laughs> their delivery areas. Right. I know a few places that are now delivering Chinese food. So it's becoming kind of like, almost like New York, where you can get Chinese food delivered to your door. Oh, well, it's funny because I lived in New York, uh, New York, well, I'm uh, Long Beach, and Long Beach delivers everything from Thai food, Cambodian food, um, you know, uh, again, pizza, hamburgers. This is just being delivered Say in Long what? Beach. That's what I, I miss Long Beach, you know. So it's like yeah. they deliver a bunch of stuff out there. I don't know if it's our mics. Or I don't know if it's the pink mic tonight that's just throwing me off. But anyway... <laughs> Oh, so, so welcome. We are going to do a pizza show. We have. Uh, is that too loud for you, Jacob? Yes. Yeah, All right. Too loud. How's that? Yeah, yeah. better. Better. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Alan. Give it up for Alan. He's always doing such a great. job job for us so thank you to all the p pizza delivery guys thanks to all food delivery yeah guys all there. food delivery you guys work so hard especially the traffic that you have to go through and you know and and getting stiffed on tips most of the time yeah we need to do a show on tips like if ever they get a tip or they go to a house and they didn't order it you what know happens a lot of if, they, if what happens if they don't give a tip <laughs> it's oh. it's Yes, Lawrence, you tell us. You can't really do anything. <laughs> it's just you, you take the money and then that's that's what you get. Yeah. Well, you know, thank you again for all the guys coming out. Thank you, Fernando. I think Fernando wants to hang out. <laughs> Fernando, you are you on lunch break? You want to just come hang out with us? <laughs> Maybe Fernando can come over next time. We'll have Fernando come on the show next time. He, he, he could probably have some good, good okay. delivery guy stories. We'll talk to you, Fernando. We'll do a delivery guy show. How's that? Yeah, we could do that. That'd be awesome. I'm excited. Um, but we celebrate a lot of stuff besides pizza today, right, boys? Yes. What do we usually celebrate every week here? Mm. Come on in, Fernando. Love me again. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him. I <laughs> he love him. He can't stay away. He can't stay away. You know what? Take Gloria's seat. How's that? Have a seat. Put this on. Uh, uh, well, You're not going to get in trouble, are you? Tell them there's traffic there on, mm. on Greenleaf. <laughs> mm. Come on over here. Talk to us. Oh, hi, guys. Um, <laughs> I'm Fernando. I work for Pizza Hut. Woo! And, um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> how, long, how long have you been working for Pizza Hut? Uh, I was working there for uh, around like uh, five years. Five years? Yes. Awesome. Do yes. you own it, the franchise? Uh, yeah, the franchise. Uh, are you part of the franchise? Yes. Awesome. All right. <laughs> we got the owner here. No, uh, let's talk about delivery. We were just uh, talking about that. Um, is it hard for your drivers? Because they do work hard. A lot of your drivers, including yourself, work hard to drive around town. It costs a lot of money to, you know, with gas and all. I mean, um, it, f for tips, is it hard for you guys to get tips? Well, um, we're driving like uh, about 40, 40 miles for for a couple hours, like uh -huh. four hours, and uh, mm -hmm. we get a couple of tips. Sometimes uh, they're gonna good days, you know. We we'll get uh, 40, 50 bucks. Or, what? You know, that's yeah. not bad. That's pretty good. When, so, like, like, or say when you deliver, you do a delivery, and that house doesn't give you a tip. Do you like put a little mark in their file going, "These people don't tip," or something like that? Or uh, you yeah, just we, we we scratch up. Uh, we uh we make the the, the scratcher. Yeah, up you're the, not gonna go back the to the house again. No. <laughs> <laughs> make no oh, yes, make kidding. a note make yes, no folks kidding, tip your delivery guys well otherwise I they never, won't show up quickly yeah but yeah we 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 can make it like uh we we can give you a good service but uh mm -hmm. you know it all depends on how how did you did they make the service for the for the customer you know mm -hmm. and then you can smile like you know mm -hmm. to get it but tips you know but sometimes you know Nothing. Well, I had a question. What's but, your uh, most busy? I know it's usually a sport sporting event. What are other busy days for you? How about uh, holidays? How yeah. does that work? Easter is coming up on Sunday. Do you get a lot of calls after the five years you've been there? Um, do you get a lot of calls during Easter? I'm just curious. Oh well, um, uh, that's temper this time, but it's, you know it's slow because you know more the most people there. They are on a visit or parks, you know. Right. And then get it something corn salad and like that. Busy days, busy days when uh, <clears throat> when you have a fight, you know, right. fights. You like you just we just had the Pacquiao like, fight. Yeah. Last Saturday yeah, was last, that really busy? Last Saturday, yes, yes. Not very much, but uh, 
But the last, last, uh, last fight, like when Pacquiao. And, right, that's what we and, watched. And, uh, we should have ordered pizza from this Fernando. Guy, uh, uh, UFC Marquez, you know, yeah, you know, Marquez, yeah the Marquez the, fight. The that fight, was really yeah. good. Did you watch it, or were you busy working? Oh no, I, we work busy. Okay. Know, yeah. Did you go in the house and then watch the fight? Well, I, I delivery and uh, tell the customers, hey, can I have a chance to see the fight a little while? That's cool. <laughs> and they let you stay. Well, yeah, the pe the your customers they say, come in, come in, in, come oh, in. That's good. But, you you know. didn't you didn't hold the pizza back and say, yeah, can I have I, five I, minutes? I keep it on my hand like that. And, <laughs> I you love know. this guy. Yeah, but that's fine. You know, uh, just the this is busy days with yeah. the fights and events like uh, uh, L.A. Lakers, right. Los Angeles Lakers, still? or still. <laughs> and actually, the best busy day is when uh, it's at the Super Bowl. They're right. There's there's a time. This is a beautiful time for right. uh, drivers and uh, yeah. pizza guys. Right. Well, how about a lot of graduations are coming up? Graduations. Oh, graduation. Yeah. Well, yes, yes. Sometimes uh, you know graduation. How about a fun one? Have you guys delivered for a wedding before? For the wedding. A wedding. I'm oh, just curious. Well, just when it's rain, you're talking about? No, wedding. Like oh. someone getting married. Well, oh, I'm just curious uh, if they ever have a pizza <laughs> delivery for a wedding. I've never I've never been a part of something I like that. I think that would be cool. Yeah. Don't you think? Is. All right. One more question. I, I know yes. you have to get going. Yes. Uh, what's your most, I know pepperoni is going to be answered, uh, but what is your popular pizza at Pizza Hut right now? there. Um, we have a popular pizza. Like, uh -huh. um, uh, <clears throat> this is a, a stuffed stuff crust pizza. Ah, oh, we yes. should have got that. They have the cheese around the, the, the pan, you know. Well, you Everybody think next time, can I have you come over and hang out with us? Of course, why not? And we could do a, a challenge with the stuffed crust pizza. Okay. Because it's it was only developed here in America with uh -huh. the stuffed crust. Yes, so yes, not in. Crust. Um, Tell us where our locals can find you. Give them your address, your phone number, so they can order pizzas tonight. Give, okay. give me your info. Okay, so the the phone number is for the Pizza Hut. This right there. We are there on uh, Harley and um, Whittier Boulevard. The 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 phone number. Uh -huh. Can I give it? Yeah. Oh no, we want you to give it. Okay. Is it your uh, number? You it's don't want to give them your phone. Eleven five five zero. Okay. Address. Uh huh. Eleven five five zero. Uh, phone number is six nine nine four thousand. Okay. You can guys waiting for you make your order, okay? Okay. Hey, don't leave yet. We got one more question. That's not your house number you just gave out, right? Because you know the ladies <laughs> no. are watching right now. Uh, really? Yeah. Uh, we, uh, <laughs> he's, he's ready to take um, the mic. Hold on one second. <laughs> make himself all pretty. <laughs> well, thank you. Fernando, thank you so much for coming out. We would love to have you back again. Okay. How's that? Thank we you. will be back right after this on the Culinary Trend Show on RantRadioNetwork.com. Protec Carpet Tile and Care provides professional cleaning services for carpet, tile, grout, upholstery, and fine area rugs. Protec technicians are professionally trained and certified cleaning and restoration experts. We specialize in restoring damage caused by heavy soil and odor. We can remove challenging spots such as coffee, tea, ink, gum, wine, and many more. We have saved our customers thousands of dollars on new flooring and furniture expenses with our advanced cleaning processes. Call for a free estimate at 562-447-4300 and visit us on our website, www.myprotectsite.com. Hey, this is Joe Perez, owner at Protect. Just reminding you that Protect Carpet and Tile Care is your professional choice. The experts know that for pastry, Baker's Bodega has it all. Exclusive brands like West Co. Bank Mart, Satin Ice, and Pastry Pride. One-on-one -on -one day seminars for cake decorating and gelatin art. So for our service, wide range of ingredients and supplies, and for the low prices, Baker's Bodega has it all. But you don't need to be an expert. Baker's Bodega, 7869 Paramount Boulevard in Pico Rivera. Come, we're waiting for you. Do we have your attention? When it comes to tequila, two things matter, heart and passion. Never compromising integrity for mass production. Number one tequila delivers the goods. Taste the heart and passion of Mexico in every bottle. We make it right. We make it fun. 
superior tequila. There's only number one. There's only number one. There's only number one. A home is the biggest investment in most people's lives. Buying or selling should be a positive experience. Whether you want to be a wealthy real estate investor or just trying to find a place to call home. At AJR and Associates, we focus on the client's needs. We understand the market better than most. Let us bring the value to you and make the right choice. AJR and Associates, making your dream house a reality. Call us today for a free consultation at 562-882-1976. Or you can log on to www.hrrealtors.com. With a track record of great results, bringing knowledge, wisdom, and expertise to you. Hablamos Español. All right, we're back. We're just talking about Chromio. We didn't even think about pizza. <laughs> Welcome Hi. back, Gloria. Thank you. I know you. When I got here, yeah. uh, pizza, the pizza guy was Fernando here. took over your Fernando, spot. Fernando, yeah. I think he did a great job. What do you guys think about that? Yeah, he did good. That was the first. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. yeah. He, he's not a Gloria, though. Right, guys? Yeah. Was he better than no. me? Half. Half. Oh, oh. Half. leave it to little kids to tell you the truth. <laughs> well, you say you're just getting your voice back. I'm just getting my voice back. Thanks now. for uh, Skyping in. You're welcome. It was fun. I wish um, it was during the show, but it was really late. Well, no, I, I wish that we were able to get you backstage because I saw you. You had photos with the guys. I did with one. One of the members. We wait. Um, we met a bunch of people and they ended up like three groups of people. And one group ended up being from Fountain Valley and another one from Tustin. How neat. So, yeah. So then we waited outside and we waited for day one. So it takes about over a week to get back to normal with the voice and all from for the screen. For me, yeah, because I was like literally screaming. You don't answer phones at work, do you? No, not anymore. Okay. <laughs> it's from the concerts. It was, right? Yeah. So 
Fernando brought us Pizza Hut. What did you bring us tonight? I brought Bari's on First and Lion Tell in Santa Ana. Tell us about it. Is Anna. that your favorite place? Um, it is. I haven't eaten there in forever, but um, they've been around, I want to say, 15 years. Wow. Somewhere around there. But yeah, it, they have different sizes. They have a small, medium, large, jumbo, and king. Oh the my king, gosh, This king. is the jumbo. So the king's a little bit bigger. Wow. And I I can smell it right now. I'm hungry. Oops. Yeah, this one Just is up. the deluxe pizza. So it has pepperoni, meatball, sausage, um, green peppers, and I love onion. That. Okay, I'm hungry. So we could do that. But tell us, because we're going to switch it around real quick. What's your drinks for today? Um, since the little ones are here, uh, I brought old-fashioned sodas from Cost Plus. I love it. I love this that store. This one is Blueberry I've Breeze. I got one. Got this one, one before. Mm -hmm. yeah and um <laughs> this is black cherry <laughs> this one's lime and hibiscus and Ooh. this one's just lime i think we should try this one if you guys are gonna have pizza you have to try this mm -hmm. what is that Hi Lime and hibiscus. Hibiscus. What is hibiscus? It's it's a flower. Flame. It's a flower. Okay. Flowers but are pretty. Yes. This one's a really pretty flower. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have the honest kids today. <laughs> We're going to pass that around. All right, let's talk about food holidays since Fernando was here earlier. What are we celebrating today? Let's see. Yesterday we celebrated National Cheese Ball Day. Speaking Ooh. of your kids, yes, and uh, also Healthy Kids Day. And speaking of your kids, not as today, well. not today. They're okay. not healthy not, today. Not today. We're gonna fill them up with pizza. Yeah. Today is Animal Crackers, the birthday of Yay! Animal Crackers. Yay! Happy birthday, Animal Crackers! The folks that and love these some. old school. It would have been best if you got them in the little box. That's what the my mom says. Box. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. They didn't. Ha they no longer have that. They have a pull. No, you can still find when them. Some places still have them. Okay. They're, they're a bit harder to find, but yeah, they, those are the ones them. my mom grew up with. Well, yeah. where I went, they didn't have it. But I remember I, when we did this last year. I, I mentioned it. McDonald's had a really good line of cookies in a box too. Do you guys remember that? Yes. That was so good. I, I think I vaguely remember it. Okay, but they had their version of animal crackers, mm -hmm. but it had like a lemony Ooh. flavor to it. So happy birthday. <laughs> Um, is this after the circus? Barnum's? Anyone know that? Huh. Um, I don't know. I was never a fan original, of circus. Original okay. animal crackers. So, uh, okay. tomorrow is garlic, National Garlic Day. Yes. Ooh, love, garlic like, bread. Oh, garlic. Yeah. I love garlic. Garlic, garlic knots. Yeah. I, yeah ooh, garlic anything. Sorry. Filipino, everything I We eat have to have garlic. garlic in it. <laughs> and my underarms and my shoes. It's also, uh, <laughs> Gloria, it's National Armoretto Day. Armoretto. Nice. So yeah. what's your, Do you what's like armoretto? Armoretto straight. No. no, you don't have an armoretto sour. I've never had one. I have to Seriously? say, now this, guess what? Tomorrow. Now's a good time to try. Are you yeah. going to try tomorrow? My, Is that why you never responded to my text about, hey, tomorrow's a uh, yeah. day? One okay. of my favorite armoretto drinks is a Flaming Dr. Pepper. Oh, that's interesting. You've ever had a chance to try it? You fill up a, a cup with beer about halfway. Any kind? Uh, yeah, any kind. Usually you like a light beer. Okay. Uh, then you take a shot glass, fill it with armoretto, you float a little 151 on the top, light the shot, drop it in the beer, and chug the whole thing. Hmm. While the fire is Well, on? once you drop it in the beer, the fire gets extinguished. Oh, okay. And then no, either you're like, no flame. Your eyebrows are gone. Mug. Facial hair is gone. I've, I've, only, I've only seen one or two mishaps in the entire time that I've I think I've that'd be a cool this. challenge. I've... Um, done about three or four in a for row. Us. Not for then, me. Yeah. It, yeah. We. It's. I make yeah. money with this face. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she does. <laughs> uh, that's another show. <laughs> and then, of course, Sunday, mm -hmm. uh, the highest of holidays, four twenty. I mean Easter. AKA Easter. Easter. <laughs> like what? And I brought everybody. You know, uh, it's, some it's, it's the time when people go. He is you risen. You brought Easter eggs. Yes. It's so are we. So. Hello. <laughs> nice little ones. <laughs> So you brought Easter eggs. I brought... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Lord, help us. <laughs> oh, 855 we are having a good time Nest here. eggs. Crunchy huevos. <laughs> yeah, we Ouch. have kids here anyway. So, hey, let's talk about Easter real quick. Anybody remember Easter egg hunting and how crazy it was? I never Any did stories? that. Any no. stories? You never did? No. no. Really? No. No, like, no, going through the park and knocking other kids down to I go for the golden. I was never a fan of park, so no. Okay, <laughs> never mind. 
sounds how so about you? Isolated sounds child. sad, huh? <laughs> sounds so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> These kids are honest tonight. Uh, Lawrence, how about you? Any memories of? Um, I remember, yeah, just being let loose in like the park and just. You're like, just go. Out. Yeah, it was just like basket in hand, and then you know they just say, just go, and then you just run. Any, uh, any hitting, knocking people over. There, there, there were a few times. That's where the best. Easter egg hunt ever when you, you know, start knocking when you get to down. tackle people yes because you need to get the biggest prize I, I don't recall there ever being like one gigantic prize really? at the end of the hunt they were all just like you know everything was just filled with candy and uh, stuff see like Alan do you remember Alan Alan remembers oh what? yeah I did one Easter egg hunt but that was a church thing oh but that doesn't count they, no, it they does count it does it oh. does count okay so yeah so all the little kids got one area because we, we had the whole park so the little kids, like, from 10 under got one area, only with candy. Okay. And then the teenagers got, like, one, a golden egg, which was filled with movie tickets. Oh. And candy. So the person that got it. And then the adults got to get one with cash. Wow. One side. I want to see that Easter egg That time Easter when egg hunt must have been amazing. It, it was fun. I liked watching all the people go. The card Go egg. at it. Yeah, go at it. See, that's the best thing about Easter egg I was egg helping times. the little girl that a babysit get the cash yeah get the egg no candy but oh okay well you were nice yes did you find the egg with the cash no i didn't try oh, okay yeah okay well i used to go to a bunch of those and they were insane you know so I, as much as i remember as a kid yeah there's a lot of knocking down pushing yeah. around a, a lot of a lot of reaching into other kids baskets when they weren't looking yeah some kids are a little <laughs> too much wow. like jacob's laughing you're giving yeah he's ideas. no he's done it before that's why he's laughing <laughs> it's like the little cousins are around you're pushing him around <laughs> thanks lawrence he's got plans for this sunday if you have any beautiful easter egg hunt stories give us a call 855-693-4897 i think we should try your pizza first we should pass that around. Time. So tell us where this is. So if we have locals, uh, um, who it's go. located on Lion and First Street. Okay, right in the corner. Okay, and in that's the little in shopping Santa, center, Santa Ana? Santa Ana. Okay, right by the Elks Lodge. Okay, around there. How long has that been up? Santa Ana Zoo. Okay. Oh, I've never been there. Uh, how? Is, I mean, are there any other pizza places that you're fond of? No. As a no. foodie. <laughs> no. 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 What about you, Bev? Is there yes. A, okay. You just Where? mentioned it earlier. Uh, Rosario's Pizza and Carson. Oh. Carson? That place has been around for like 30, 40 years. They have the best pizza, but for the Rosario special, you have to call at least two, three hours ahead of time. You're kidding. The Rosario special? Yes. What is the Rosario special consist of? It has, it's like that, but it's like huge. It's humongous. And, and it takes about two, three hours. Wow. Like this. <laughs> That's the jumbo. You're, you're going to be serving the kids. Which, what, which elephant in a half? <laughs> so, yeah, Rosario's Pizza Ad, they're coming back May 8th, uh, uh, Amore Ristorante. Okay. So you'll get to have their pizza. Yes. So, Anthony, if you're listening, we want pizza that night, including that wine and cheese that you're bringing to us. But uh, we do have a special guest calling in at 7 o'clock, um, Hell's Kitchen, Season 12. Okay. We have Joy Parham calling in. Oh, nice. He's going to talk about what she's been up to lately and just a little bit of Hell's Kitchen because, you know, we, West Coast. West Coast hasn't been we showed yet. Afterwards, yeah. So after this, Joy's calling in. Joy, call in right now, 855-693-4897. While on break, we are going to eat pizza only here on the Culinary Trap Show on RedFieldNetwork.com. Woo! Oh. Add some crazy flavor to your vape pen. You're looking for something new and exciting in liquid vapor? Go to Crazy Clouds E-Juice. Find them at BurstOflavor.com and try any of the new 12 flavors they have available. Blueberry, mint, raspberry, chocolate, gummy bear, hemp, watermelon, cola, orange, pina colada, coconut, or red bully. Call us today at 855-WE-BURST or visit us at BurstOflavor.com and order yours today. What's wrong? I can't stop craving a cigarette. I just quit. 
Hey, what are you smoking on? Oh, this? Best e-juice on the planet. Burst of flavor, of course. What's that? Only the best alternative to smoking with a great flavor. It has a burst of flavor in every puff. Well, does it have nicotine? It comes in different levels, including zero. They have 20 flavors and more coming. All the products are made in the U.S. Check them out at www.burstoflavor.com or call them at 855-WE-BURST. Hey, let's burst together. It's not just flavor, it's an experience. Cigarettes, you've met your match. Are you watching the game at home? Why? Come watch it at Mambo Grill, the hottest spot in Downey. You'll have good food, drinks, and a great time at a low price. We have the coldest beer in our sports bar, where you can enjoy the game on any of our huge flat screen TVs. And when your home team wins, you get 25% off anything in Mambo Grill. We're on Downey Avenue, one block north of Firestone, or visit us on the web. Mambo Grill, love at first bite. Hey, bro, this is a good game. You know what would make it better? What, bro? A michelada. A michelada? What's a michelada? A michelada is somewhere in the middle of a Mexican Bloody Mary and a Mexican margarita. Oh, I got you covered, bro. You got a cup in your pocket? No, sir. I got my pocket-sized michelada. Mucho macho michelada. Pocket-sized? Pocket-sized, so you can take it with you anywhere you go. Where'd you get that at? At the nearest convenience store, and you can also buy it at muchomachomichelada.com. You know what will make it better? After we get drunk, if they had a line we can call. We can call their drunk line. You can leave a message and then log on to the site and listen to your stupidity afterwards. What's that number? It's 855-MICHE69. What's that number again? 855-MICHE69. Awesome. Mucho macho michelada. Good day, America. I'm Dr. Gerald Coy. Every Friday, 12.30 to 1.30, you can listen to Solutions for Life, a program dedicated to helping everyone discover better health. Each week, we will discuss challenges in our healthcare system, controversies, and issues that affect your life. But above all, discover solutions that will help each and every one of you. Only here on RantRadioNetwork.com. call. Joy, give us a call right now. Um, 855-693-4897. Uh, we are trying all the pizzas right now. Great we just, pizza. We, the first Choice, one was the from, what was the name again? I'm sorry. Bari? It was so Bari. good. It was so good. Okay, Joseph, it's your show. I'm sorry I said it with us. Uh, uh, should we try the Papa John's one? Yes. We tell, should start that uh, Tell us what the Papa John is. Uh, oh. The the. Pizza. What what pizza did we get? From it's Papa your John? dad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this kid, I swear. Um, <laughs> we got the spinach Alfredo. Okay. Ooh. And uh, and um, we also got the cooked chocolate chip cookie the for uh, Gloria. Uh -huh. Oh, I, I thought it was and just for me. for me. Oh, we Lawrence hit it. You Okay, so <laughs> don't worry. I'll share with you guys. <laughs> He's just mumbling Ooh. back there about the cookie. I'm okay. saying. Sure is this the whole wheat crust um or the I'm, regular crust it's the regular it's their special they said so this oh, is the okay. spinach and cheese and something Sp uh spinach alfredo sauce and cheese mm. Ooh, that's good i'm a big fan of of white pizzas mm -hmm. uh, Better than, myself than, than i prefer i prefer a white pizza over over the traditional marinara sauce pizza myself mm -hmm. uh mm -hmm. one of my favorite ones uh is there's a place called Bravo Pizzeria out uh -huh. in Santa Monica. They do a variation of the white pizza oh, called nice. Cheese Explosion. Oh, that sounds good. You guys come in here and get some pizza, okay? Uh, Jacob, you're not a big fan of spinach and Alfredo. You're a pepperoni guy, is that right? So what do you think of this one? Very cheesy. What do you think? Is it good? Yeah, it's good. Uh, from the scale of uh, 1 to 10. Eight and a half. And and wow, that's, that's not bad. That's bad. Now, Gloria had given us a hibiscus lime drink. What would you think of that? <laughs> it's too flowery, isn't it? Five mm. out of ten. Five out of it's ten. It's not bad. It's good. I like that. I, I, I you like, like that. it, Joseph? Mm, All right, yeah. Joseph, this was your choice of pizza. Mm -hmm. What would you think of the Papa John's? This is actually 
pretty good. I will say as out of one out of ten, I would give it like a nine out of ten. Wow, that's that's a high score. Okay, so how about the one that Gloria brought? Well, what a scale of one to ten for that? I would give it a ten point five out of oh, ten. Good, see, look at that, uh, Jacob. What do you think? One to ten from the first pizza. Hard to explain. It's uh, hard to explain. <laughs> well, that one does have meat, so it has vegetables. It also has vegetables. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So one to ten. Uh, Pretend it doesn't have vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> Be honest. Nine out of nine out of ten. That's not bad. Yeah. It's got good good yeah. reviews on that. They do do delivery. So well, they deliver all the way. Out I don't here. think they'll deliver all the way. Out <laughs> I don't know. We Maybe we give them a really good tip. We are slightly out of the delivery range. I well, think. I mean, what's your favorite delivery? I mean, if you're at home and you feel like a pizza, I so would usually story. call Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. What's your favorite pizza from there? Just pineapple on it. Extra pineapple. Interesting. Okay. Well, we brought Pizza Hut. With that one, open that one up, Jacob. But I still drink. Okay. So on that's in the, Fountain that's Valley the fancy on Slater, <laughs> if you're ever around Slater, mm -hmm. Nick's Pizza. Monday through Friday does a pizza buffet. They do four to five pizzas. And then they do chicken and vegetables and pasta. So it's a little buffet. And my favorite one that they do is called their white pizza, mm -hmm. which is just mozzarella and pineapple. But they put pineapple juice on the mozzarella. So the what? mozzarella tastes so sweet. I don't know. It is amazing. It's one of my favorites. It's one of your favorites. Um, how about you? Low, your Carson, I know you said Rosario's, but if you're at but home, Carson, Rosario's doesn't deliver. They don't. That's you have problem. to personally go there. Yeah. But if you're just chilling at home after you had a great night at work, we'll just say that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's laughing at you already. Um, what would you prefer? I'm I'm actually more of a Domino's guy. Okay, so we brought Domino's. You want to open that one up? Sure. Let's do it. Okay, that one I ordered. It's the. Uh, Special hand tossed with bacon and mushrooms. Because we have to do bacon, you guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So this one is bacon and mushrooms. Gloria, I'll have her plate. Okay. Here you go, my dear. Yeah, I really like the, the whole revamping of their menu and food that Domino's did in the last couple of years. Right. It, it's a huge improvement. And they are doing a lot of fresh ingredients and um, also doing hands, you know, this is like a deep dish kind of mm -hmm. like. Is it good? So this is the mushroom and bacon. You guys want to try it? Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's good. I'll do that. Mm -hmm. That's really if you're good. ever at OC Wine Mart in Irvine, They've Domino's Pizza is right next door, so you can order pizza and then go wine tasting. Oh, wow. Yeah. They, I've wow. done that many Domino's times. is now doing a new thing, too, that I think they just launched this week where they were doing the fancier cheesy breads yes. for a while, but now they're doing it on top of the chicken pieces. <gasps> Oh. I saw that. Yeah. I saw that. You haven't I've tried yet, that one? I've yet to try it. I haven't gotten stoned enough to, to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's coming. I know it's coming. <laughs> Possibly this Sunday. Okay. I'm just saying. Okay. Easter? He's just saying. Yeah, Easter uh, pizza, right? Sure. Okay. So what do you guys think of this bacon mushroom? It has, has nice crust soft. The soft crust is nice. And how about the bacon and mushrooms together? Good combination. Good combination. We're teaching them well, guys. Uh, a scale of one, um, one to ten. One thousand out of one. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Jacob. Um, Joseph. No hyperbole there at all. <laughs> <laughs> this is my child, everybody. <laughs> and that um, one too. I can um, see the resemblance. <laughs> um, a, a scale out of one to ten, I'll give it a seven out of ten. Seven. Why a seven? Tell us why. Um, it's good, but the crust is softer, and I like pizza. I like pizza when the crust is like a little crunchy, also and chewy. Yeah, like in Europe pizza. Oh yeah. One good. of the best things to do, though, uh, I find when you're at home, and you get a home delivery pizza, a lot of times the the crust doesn't come quite as crispy right. as you would like it to be. Easiest thing to do: take a skillet, medium high heat. Okay. Put the slice of pizza on the skillet. A piece of foil loosely tented over the top, and like it's in crispy. a couple of minutes, nice and crispy. The what happens becomes, if I want my pizza like right then and there? Then you just eat it right then okay. and there. <laughs> Off <laughs> I mean, the pan, it's still hot. Yeah, <laughs> but like just two or three minutes, just to crisp up the bottom, and it it it, the quality of the pizza, the flavor just becomes ten times better. 
Nice. That's a great idea too. So for you home cooks who want to bring up your delivery pizza just a little more than follow what Lauren says, will this be on your blog by any chance or Twitter? Maybe you should Twitter it out tonight. Tweet it. Blog? What blog? I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. All right. I'll well, go no right good. I think it's time for our call. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are Hell's Kitchen fans, I know there's a few out here. Right there, Joseph is a Hell's Kitchen fan. We have season 12 of Hell's Kitchen, very own Joy. Hi. What, can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me, girl? Okay. You sound really far away. Do I sound I far away? You. Yeah, it's cool. All right. Can you... Are you on a regular landline phone, or are you... Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to have to shout. Let me know if I'm not loud enough for you, okay? No, it's okay. I'm not going deaf. I, I, can, <laughs> I can hear you. It's okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to give you applause right now for calling in. Thank you, Joy. We know it's like, uh, what, about 10 o'clock your time over there? Yes. And I'm falling asleep because okay. I'm an old woman. No, no, you're not old. We're just keeping you up. Hang on there, girl. We'll give you give us about ten minutes, all right? <laughs> no um, problem. So, obviously, you guys watched Hell's Kitchen already out there in your end of uh, the, the world. Um, we haven't watched it here yet, and in West Coast. So, um, we just want to let everybody know that you are in season twelve, along with me and everybody else, and. Um, for you, a quick question about Hell's Kitchen. What was the most, I mean, the experience itself, now that we're, you know, we're home now, what was the most ex best experience out of this whole thing for you? I think, I think the best experience for me overall from Hell's Kitchen would have to be, um, it, it's not the lesson you learn in the kitchen. It's, it's more or less that, that, that luggage you went to um, California with, you know, that baggage you should have left at home, you kind of just, you, you learn how to deal with it there. Right. Even if it wasn't really there physically at that moment, mm -hmm. you took something from Hell's Kitchen and it helps you become a better person. So it's just, there's not one moment. There's so right. many small moments that make just one big moment. And right. Everything, everything made me a better person, um, a better chef, just a better joy. That's it. I mean, and I take that also. But thanks for calling in. We're not going to talk about Hell's Kitchen because it hasn't shown yet here in West Coast. Mm -hmm. Tell us about what you're doing right now while this show is going on. I know you have a new company out. Um, let us know about Urban Country. Okay. Um, well, right now what I'm doing over here on the East Coast is um, I have a company, uh, Urban Country Culinary Concepts, and what we do is we conceptualize culinary ideas and you know um it's really just about building a lifestyle building a brand and and learning how to live that urban that that country lifestyle uh -huh. if you desire in the urban setting in that um i'm sorry i'm falling asleep guys no don't <laughs> wake up wake up joy wake up <laughs> you know, I've, been up six, I've been up since like six my time so i'm i'm crashing over here, no. but, um, you know, it's just really about a lifestyle and about building an image and uh -huh. learning how to do everything within the umbrella of urban country, you know, um, living, dining, uh -huh. um, traveling, dressing, anything you can think that's of. Interesting. You know, that's interesting. That's an interesting concept. Now, I see we have a lot of photos that you sent to us. It's great looking dishes. Um, tell us, like, about, I, you have an event coming up uh, for, uh, with your catering? <laughs> Mm -hmm. What when is your event so we can let everybody know? Well, we're, I'm not necessarily catering this upcoming event. But okay. The name of the upcoming event is actually Urban Exposure, and I'm I'm teaming up with a young woman from Harrisburg. Um, she makes handmade jewelry. And oh, okay. All those pieces are inspired by her great grandmother, so that's really nice. And um, she's coming down, and we have a. Uh, six artists performing live for the evening. We have an amazing host. Her name is Dita Comedian Hargrove. She's um, based out of Philadelphia also. Mm -hmm. And then um, we have some great giveaways going on. Um, tickets to the Roots Family Picnic. We're also going to have a tasting. Spooty Wine was um, just, they were nice enough to actually sponsor my company. Um, so we'll be doing some sangrias with their new wines for the season. It's just going to be a really nice night like chill vibes good uh -huh. people you know um it's at an art gallery actually which is something wow you know different for me so it's just 
You know, we're, we're, we're definitely making some moves over here in Philadelphia. We can't wait to get you Philly. over here. No, I, I want to go to Philly. I want to go to Philly, girl. I mean, I haven't seen you in a while, so I want to see my joy. And, we'll um, run this step. It, it, <laughs> Joy and I have a lot. We were like we we're like we we're like sisters in the Hell's Kitchen, you know. So yes. But um, tell us when this event is. So everybody is t are tickets available to this event? Um, actually, the event is April the nineteenth at seven p.m. Oh, that's coming up. That's this weekend. Okay. And, and tickets are still available. However, um, you know, when the early bird doesn't get the worm, the That's prices right. go up. So uh -huh. <laughs> That's okay. Person, you can go online and check that out. But, um, yeah, tickets are definitely still available. Where can they find these tickets, Joy? You can find a link to the tickets on, actually, my Hell's Kitchen fan page. Okay. There will be Chef Parham. I'm sorry. Joy Parham HK. Okay. Um, or you can also go on my business Facebook page, and that's www.facebook.com backslash Dine Urban Country. Okay. Um, you can even check us out. You can even check me out on Instagram. I'm um, Chef Joy Parham. Okay. Um, quick question, Joy, because right now we're eating pizza. Oh. So, yeah, the boys are here. You want to say hi? Um, Joy, hi, my, my oldest son, Joseph, you remember I always talked about him. Um, I know. Uh, he is a big fan of yours. He said, I'm following her on Instagram. Um, and you want to say hi to Joy? Hi. Hi, Joseph. <laughs> I have to follow you back. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, Joy, tell us about your favorite. If you're going to be chilling at home, like right now, say you're hungry, girl. Say, okay, I want to I wanna order some pizza. Who would you choose out there for a delivery? Any favorites? Hmm, you know, I believe it or not, I couldn't say. Well, we're not a pizza city. Oh, <laughs> we well, can, I know Philly cheesesteak. <laughs> yeah, we kind of just go with the Little Caesars out here, grab and go. <laughs> well, you have I Little Caesars out there then. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, okay, about before we let you go, how about... There's that battle of Philly cheesesteaks out there. Mm. Who is your favorite? So we know when we get, head out to Philly one day, we want to go to that specific spot because Joy said, recommended it. Oh, you know, this is a tough one. This is the ongoing battle here. I don't know the names of those places. It's either Pat's or Gino's. It depends on, it depends on what you're looking for in the cheesesteak okay. at that moment. Well, what do you want? What do you like in your Philly cheesesteak? My sandwich girl. I'm going to tell you now, Joy's a sandwich girl. <laughs> 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 With bacon on it. <laughs> I do love a good sandwich. Hey. But, you know, I, I grew up on Jim's cheesesteaks. Okay. And it's really all about the bread. So That's if you true. you find a place with the with the good bread, you mm -hmm. know, soft bread, maybe like a little crust on the outside of an Italian roll, mm -hmm. you're good to go. You have to try it. <clears throat> when you do come to Philadelphia, you try steaks, you have to try one with some provolone, and oh. you have to try mm -hmm. one with whiz, because you have to experience both cheesesteaks. But I can't give you too much, because okay. I have to teach you, like, the South Philly squat and how to eat it the right way. I have to squat? Yeah. It's a there's a there's whole there's a whole position you got to take when you when you get into the cheesesteak so the grease. Oh, I want to learn that. Okay. Yeah, there's a I whole think, ritual behind it. I I think yeah. we will we'll wait for that because I think we should do a culinary trend show out there in Philadelphia. Oh, that, that would be, be awesome. awesome. Wouldn't that, that be, would awesome? be awesome? And, and then awesome. you can watch all of us squat. Yes. <laughs> well, I, you know, I'm, I'm already Asian, so the Asian I, I already the got Asian the squat, squat. In me. No, no, the, so so I got that rice I got that rice patty squat no, ready to go. The Asian squat, the Asian squat is not that when we. We eat. We put our feet on our chair, <laughs> and we squat. No, that's the, that's the Filipino one. I'm talking about the one where, like, you know, you're kicking it in the back, and you're squatting down, cigarette in your hand, <laughs> elbows resting on your knees. You know what I'm saying? That's, yeah, I that's know what the, you're saying, <laughs> man. I know what you're saying. Well, Joy, thank you so much for calling in. We'd like to have you on the show again, maybe after the season is over, and catch up and see how you're doing and oh, stuff. Yeah, definitely. Um. Give us something like what's you know are you working anywhere uh, right now where people can come find you to, where you're cooking at because I'm sure everybody wants to try your food um, besides <laughs> urban country. Well, the best way to find me is um actually to contact me through the website um yeah. www.donurbancountry.com. All right. You know, 
I'm always responding mm-hmm. to emails, or there's always some always someone to respond. Okay. But I'm not really I'm working out of a set location. I'm okay. Doing. I'm focusing more on pop ups and events right now. That's um, just how it should be. It's the spring. It's the summer. You know, yeah. get people out. Yeah. Getting the name out there, getting the brand out there, and just having a good time at the same time. And that's it. And it's all about, like we say here on the Culinary Trend Show, it's about the good food and the good friends and good times. Is that right? Exactly. Well, and it's been, it's been real, you guys. It has been. Uh, you, know, you know what, girl? It's the, the season's not over yet, so let's keep rock and rolling. How's that? Of course not. You know, Red Team Rocks. Red Team Rules. Okay. Well, Joy, I know it's late. Time to go to sleep now because... Yes, it is. Uh, we'll tomorrow. All right. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you, Joy. Hell's Kitchen Season 12, Urban Country, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, guys. Good night. Good Thank you. Night. All right. Bye-bye. I think she ne- we need to get her some coffee. Send her some coffee <laughs> from this end for East Coast time. But thank you, Joy, Hell's Kitchen. Um, I know a lot of East Coast are watching. They've watched it already. Yes. So uh, the West Coast hasn't even started yet. <laughs> All the spoilers are on Twitter. Yeah, don't go on Twitter, people. Oh, I just did. Oh, it, darn it's, it. It's already on Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a rune. So, we, you know, she talked about Philly. I, we should go to Philadelphia. We should. I Any am, good bands I, out there? I am down. Oh, I don't know. The Roots. <laughs> the Roots? <laughs> the Roots are from Philly. The Roots that's are, true. I love yeah. the Roots. We can Okay. I don't think they're um, playing, are they? Anybody? W- <laughs> Would anyone like to sponsor a yeah, trip for a us trip. to go to Yeah, Philly? give us a call, 855-693. Uh, right now, I want to do something. Um, I, I found this video, and we're going to do a taste test today also. So we're going to watch this video, and we're going to do a taste test after this. How's that? Okay. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> It kind of tastes of like everything and nothing. Oh, oh no. I get the feeling it might have been sort of scraped off the uh, meat blender. It's just all the meat ever kind of like pushed together into something. I mean, it's meat based, so it's always going to be okay. Yeah, these are the sort of sweets you only give to people as a challenge. That's really quite awesome. Well, who is? so sour that I think I might have sprained my mouth. Oh, I hate this. After the feeling of like your insides caving in on themselves, it, it's just quite a bland taste. But I want to have it again. I want to keep eating it. Twinkies. Twinkies. Oh, man. That's so good. I, that, that cream in the middle is so absolutely disgusting. I mean, they're too healthy. It's so wrong for you. It's so right. The Americans can keep them. A fruit gusher is either an American candy or presumably a search term in Pornhub. Oh. oh my god. I can't tell what fruit that was. Okay, that's weird and not in a good way. It tastes like the colour strawberry rather than the flavour of strawberry. I highly um, congratulate the owners. Okay, so hot, hot tamales, hot tamales? Fierce cinnamon. It's artificially flavoured, which you know is a good thing. I thought it would be like, more cinnamon-y. It's the sort of thing you'd give to a kid as a punishment. It's a bit like you just put the, the lowest setting on your oven to like the fan setting. These make me sad. All right, so look at that. Oh, spotted dick. Did I just see a... Uh, anyway, I yes, had kids. You here, did. I forgot. No, uh, that's fine. Huh? I <laughs> that's anyway, fine. Anyway, <laughs> I handle it. I handle it. <laughs> uh, no, we're not gonna. <laughs> Look it's, what a you it's a pudding. It's a pudding. All right. Oh for those man. That, for Junior those, high, man. Junior high. For those that are not in the know, spotted dick is a pudding. It is a pudding in oh, the UK. Okay. What kind of uh, pudding is it? It's a spotted dick pudding. <laughs> I got somebody coming. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Speaking of spotted dick, you should get that checked. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, how wait, do you wait, know? wait, 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 wait. Oh. He came busting in. So. Thank you, Wonder Years. Uh, I can okay, hear I opened one. Now. There's going to be a very in- interesting conversation for you on the drive home. I know. So we are going to try the Warheads. Oh. I've never had this. These? I used to love these. Really? Yeah. <laughs> this I is how I much I used to... Oh these. my goodness! These stopped being sour for me. Really? Yeah, for because a I while. Would eat these so much. Oh, the apple was my it favorite. Like, it like I, I, I a actually, cough drop, I dude. actually had oh, to graduate. I, I had to graduate this. up to the the, oh. the super candies in the Asian stores, like the super apples, super lemon. Those oh. were like on the next level of sour oh. compared to these. Don't choke on that, Jacob. Oh. <laughs> 
Take it out. You don't want it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah. Look at I keep this in my mouth. <laughs> Jacob, take it out. <laughs> it's not that bad. I haven't oh. had. <laughs> <laughs> what flavor did you get? Mine is yeah. plain and boring. I, I, I got the blueberry. It's not that bad. I got the apple. I got the apple. <laughs> what the hell is this? A coffee drop? <laughs> that <laughs> one, I believe, is lemon. yellow. Ew, lemon. It tastes lemon. like a, a cough drop. Lemon. This does not taste like a blueberry. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm like drooling right are now. Are you drooling? <laughs> <laughs> but I haven't had one of these since I probably was like Jacob's age. So. When did it come out? The 90s? Oh, yeah, 90s. Should um, I just bite into it? Because I have no patience. These are so popular. Once oh, you, God, don't If you bite into it. it, it's just all sweet. It is, yeah, right in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I, I actually, like, in the Asian stores, they would sell super apples, super lemon, and those were, like, ten times oh, more sour than really? they were. Yeah. Can you bring that in next oh, time? If I if they still make them. I haven't seen them. <laughs> really they banned that from America? They were so ridiculously sour, like, the puckering you would... Really? Would actually could actually injure someone. Like it. Oh, can you actually, imagine? I'm sorry, I got candy stuck in my oh, mouth wow. now. <laughs> I'm the winner. I kept it in my mouth there the whole won. time. All right, we're gonna try the next pizza. I'm gonna spit this out. I can't. Oh. It's stuck in my teeth. Oh, that's what you get for biting. That's what you get for biting it. Now it's sweet. That's what she said. Uh huh. <laughs> that's what she said again. Oh. <laughs> the kids are, are growing up. <laughs> In front of you right before your eyes. I hope our ratings go up tonight, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> no, people are going to be enraged. Don't there's, choke there's on gonna that. Be, there's going to be some letters written. There's going to be some questions, hey. comments, concerns. Jo Joseph, don't choke on that, man. Okay, it's been out. That's what okay. she said. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Lord help me. All right, so Pizza Hut, it's our next pizza, okay, right? Let's try it. That's your typical, it's a, a dinner box. Is Fernando still here? Did he, uh, he left? No, he left. He was done after we started. Eating. So what is in the dinner box? So that comes, and he explained that earlier before you walked in. I wasn't here, sorry. Yeah, it's a medium-sized pizza of your choice, any topping. Okay. You got your traditional pepperoni. Okay. It comes with cheese cheese bread or garlic bread, whatever. It looks like, and then cinnamon sticks. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say. Uh, anyway. <laughs> okay. So, oh, nice. yeah, that's a dinner box for 10 bucks. Can't beat that, oh. right? Mm -hmm. I think two people can only eat that, though. There's no such thing as a family it's meal. It's true. That that's not a family meal. So well, do you want to slice? You, if you, Especially if you, not in my family. If you <laughs> adhere to the proper serving sizes, then yes. That we, is, in that America, is we don't people. adhere to that anymore. If someone in, the right, someone in the right mindset, that's a single serving. In your mindset, that's a single serving. I would serving. say, like... I, Maybe breakfast, I said a of little a bit, mindset. you know, lunch, and then just a t little bit of dinner. I would probably save the cinnamon sticks for dinner. <laughs> so you would switch it up around. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> well, I think we had a great show. Let's talk about, Jacob had something about anchovies. What's your, what's your, what's your beef about anchovies, Jacob? That they're delicious? No. Why are anchovies so salty? Why are, is that a joke? Okay, all right. No, so we're going to, to know. I don't know. Anchovies are salty because they're they're actually cured in salt. Tell them what cured means. Curing is when it's, you it's you, not being healed. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no. So they take the fish, the anchovy, and then they pretty much just cover it in salt, and they just let it sit in the salt to draw out all the moisture, and that makes it seasoned or it kind of like the salt balance in the fish then changes and becomes saltier. Oh, I thought since it's the, they live in the ocean and the, the water's called salt water, that's where they get it. Ah, um, got you there. You would, you would think a, so, yeah. but no, that's that's not quite how it works. <laughs> Thanks. That was a great question. Good son. question. Though. Good son. Good son. Good son. You get another pizza for that. Um, oh. Basically, <laughs> <laughs> there's some good anchovy pizzas out there. They have to soak it. It has oh, to yeah. be really high quality anchovy. Oh yeah. Is there such a thing as high quality anchovy? Yes, out there, there are. No. Yes, there are. No. <laughs> I don't you don't like anchovy? In your opinion, I don't no. Like it. No, have so, you had it before? Yes. On a pizza. Well, I've had a anchovies before, but okay. anchovies on a pizza are delicious because the the saltiness balances out with everything else on the pizza. Well, okay, uh, recommend a place that would serve it. I wouldn't even ask for any of these brands to do what a lot of pizza. Oh, no, no, no. pizza like for me. the the like the mom and pop stores. Yeah. Mom and pop shops. Ari know, does. Um, know how to? Would you they try know it? How to handle no. the anchovies. Why not? She doesn't like it. I don't like it. Good, one. yeah, exactly. He understands. See, he's on your team now. Oh, team yeah. Gloria. Oh, yeah. Team Gloria. I know. Did you hear that? Mm. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're in trouble now. Well, let's talk about team. Uh, next week, we are not having a show again. We're not going to be at a concert. Don't worry. But we are going to be at another Hell's Kiss- Kitchen kissing. <laughs> Hell's Kitchen. Uh, see, uh, we uh, uh, had a drink today. It's that sour, nice. extreme sour um, viewing party in Downey. And these guys are going to be working the line. Can you believe I'll be working? I'll be cooking. Not just kidding. Yeah. I won't. <laughs> I, I, I you know like, what? I'm going to be there by, on the line. <laughs> What's Gloria going to do? <laughs> Gloria will be... Uh, I'll be helping Celine. Whatever yeah. Celine wants me to do, yeah. I'll be there. Uh, okay. Gloria's going to be in charge of front of the house. So, there. <laughs> Not in charge. So I it's have at a supervisor. Ma- Mambo okay, Grill. Okay. Mambo Grill and Downey. I don't have the address, but you could go on... Uh, 11. Okay. Oh. 11018 uh, oh, Downey it. Avenue. <laughs> Downey, California, nine zero two four one, and that's at five p.m. to seven. And the show is at that's eight p.m. Yeah. yeah, the food will be serving food from five to seven thirty. Bring cash. Bring cash. It's only cash. Right? Cash only. At uh, seven dollars to get in, you'll get an entree and you'll get dessert. So we will see you next week at the party, eight o'clock West Coast. Hell's Kitchen team, Bev, Red Team rules. Lawrence, Gloria, thank you. Jacob, Joseph, thank you. Pizza, Fernando, we love you. Have a great week. Peace out, y'all. Woo!